Hi everyone. I'm here to tell you a little bit about some of the writing projects that we have in the Summer Institute. And you'll see um, as we look at things that there are different uh, types of writing that are supposed to meant, meant to be very practical for you. Um, you will be, for example, actually creating a teaching demonstration that you'll all be presenting, and we'll talk more about that. But also you'll be uh, building a lesson plan that you'll share with the rest of the class. And that lesson plan is meant to uh, provide resources for teachers that you, you can share with your school and uh, you can share with your uh, other school classes of your district, your REO, or ROE, excuse me. Um, so lots of places that you might share it. We'll put this also into an anthology, which we'll put online on our website. So the, the actual lesson plan will be there. Um, we aren't at this point, I think, sharing your actual recorded presentations, which we'll talk more about. But the teaching demonstration lesson plans will be there um, as a, a guide for a variety of different kinds of lessons across the curriculum and across grade levels that integrate literacy across the curriculum. Um, you also will be doing a chronology or a log as we call it um, in pairs or groups of three and this is a way for you to chart what happened the day before. Now there are lots of different ways to do this. So you can highlight what you and your partner or um, group members did that day because it may be that uh, people will be doing different things um, in some kind of a presentation. So I have one example on the first day that's really just a video of someone doing a song. It's really very funny. She's doing it in character, but it highlights uh, all of the elements of the Summer Institute in in. Uh, just that little song. It's and it's uh, to the hee haw theme song, so it's very funny. Now, I also have included a little quiz uh, um, where you just make things disappear once they're paired. As another example of how you might approach a chronology, um, you can do crossroad pu crossword puzzles, um, word searches. Anything that's going to be a fun way to just remind folks of what happened the day before, because we are um, setting off on a very intensive, intensive uh, summer institute. I've already talked a little bit about blogging, but the blog posts are an important part of the summer institute. The creative posts that you do are going to help you build your creative uh, uh, piece that you'll be including in the creative anthology at the end of the four weeks. And then your research uh, blog post should um, help you with the research on your demonstration and your just demonstration write-up. And also build your iSearch paper, which I'll be talking about a little bit longer later. That are iSearch papers meant to provide you with an opportunity to research a topic you can use in your classroom, school, or district. It really is meant to be very practical, and it's similar to a, a research paper in some ways, but the idea is to be as close to authentic research as you can. Um, so you might research things that are going to be really important to your classroom, make it very practical, and then you highlight how your research journey went. So the iSearch paper will provide opportunities for you to explore your research project's journey. And you can maybe look at a topic that's really of interest to you in your classroom, your, your district, your uh, school, your ROE, um, something that, that could culminate into uh, various types of research uh, projects once you conclude them. So the idea is you're showing the research journey. You may not actually have a, a a finished project, that's fine. The idea is to highlight that journey. And then um, you will, as I mentioned, have a little a creative an a anthology piece that you include. Now, um, if that can be many different things. It could be um, some kind of traditional creative piece like a, a story, a nonfiction essay, a poem, but it also could be like an op-ed that you might see, a letter to the editor that you might see in a newspaper, 
It could be uh, just uh, something that related to your thoughts on uh, something that's happening in your school. Um, it could be a review of a book or a movie. I mean, there are lots of different ways you can approach that. The, high, the way that works for you is going to be what's most important. And then you will um, put these together into a portfolio, which will um, highlight your writing journey throughout the Summer Institute. And then you'll reflect on that writing journey in a, a short reflection piece. So that's kind of how it goes uh, for the different kinds of writing that we have. You'll be able to respond to each other's writing in your small groups. Um, and so we'll have lots of different opportunities for you to share. And you can see all that um, online. It's in the writing to in the EIWP, um, here we go, Summer Institute document. And that is available in a couple of places. It's in the overview of the Summer Institute content area. It's also, of course, in the writing in the Summer Institute content area. So you can get a feel for the writing um, in general on that page. Thank you.